We've seen them pick up sounds from a mile away. That is how they trap us. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me After the Pandemic. And this 2022 movie was directed by Richard Lowry and stars Eve James and Cannon Smith. The story of this movie is that there is this pandemic and it does kill, you know, 98% of human beings. And so the only people who are left are teenagers who are immune and also this group of people who have to live underground. And, you know, as a result, the people who live underground are hunting the teenagers to, I guess, to collect their blood or whatever. And what will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss what works with this movie. Well, I gotta say, I always thought it was mildly interesting throughout the whole thing. It definitely had my attention and I always, you know, wanted to see where it was going. The main interest, I gotta say, is the two uh, main characters, these two teenage girls who, you know, develop a friendship and a relationship with each other and, and don't necessarily fall in love, but you know how like best friends fall in love, you know? And so I thought their relationship was, was really interesting and like how it develops over time as well. Um, and like the, the characters themselves, like one is just kind of like a typical, you know, teenage girl and the other one has like all these piercings all over her face and is not typical at all. And just kind of, you know, learning to accept other people. I thought that was an interesting, you know, kind of story arc for these two characters. The story itself is fairly simple. Like the bad guys are just going around in their vans and hazmat suits and they have like this uh, sound dish and they're just kind of like waving it around to see where people are. And I thought that was, you know, mildly interesting. I thought it was a very like effective use of budget. It's such a simple idea that allows you to really kind of create tension, right? Like, will they hear like that footstep or that or that fall or whatever? And then also like they're in cars, so like they're not driving through fields at all. And so they have to, you know, go around and, and uh, tackle them from the other side. I thought all of the scenery, you know, was mildly interesting. I think it's shot in Utah. And so they're going to these like suburbs or townships of suburbs. I, I don't really know what they're called, but um, all the houses, you know, are interesting. They're not all the same, which is like odd for suburbs because there's usually like the cookie cutter ones. So I don't know if they go to different suburbs or whatnot, um, but that was interesting. You know, in Utah, they have like so much sky. It goes from like one horizon right over to the other horizon. Like that's incredible, right? So that was, you know, mildly interesting, the amount of sky, uh, the amount of sky they have. Uh, what else? The Yeah, I think that's really all of the in interesting things. It's definitely like, you know, a, a low budget movie, pandemic movie. Um, that I think would appeal to like teenagers. Like if you're a teenager out there who's, you know, learning to, to have their own self-identity, I think you could probably watch this movie and probably get quite a bit out of it. It's one of these ones where, you know, that it's teens versus the world, right? Nobody understands them, right? They, they got to fend for themselves and, you know, back up each other. So definitely for like a teenage crowd, this is probably going to work, especially if, you know, you're struggling with your identity. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, I gotta say, ultimately, it's a little bit boring. Like, I was interested enough in the in the relationship, but everything else that goes into it didn't really work for me. Like, you know, half the time they're just, like, looking for food or talking about how you can't eat cat food because it only lasts two years. Or, like, oh, where do you get the spaghetti? I don't know. And so a lot of it just kind of seems like it's just them living their lives in the apocalypse which is, you know, mildly interesting, but not exciting. And like, they don't really have that many like action pieces. They don't even really have any action pieces. There might be something towards the end, but other than that, it's, it's really just them kind of riding around on their bikes and, and, you know, developing their relationship. So it's much more of like a drama than it is, you know, a, th a thriller or anything like that. So yeah, just be wary. Other than that, if you really start thinking about like everything that's that you're seeing on screen, you can definitely nitpick some things like um, all of their like lawns are still perfectly cut. Clearly, it's just a low budget thing where they can't just let everyone just grow their their grass for five years, right? So even in these suburbs, people are you know <laughs> still cutting their lawns in the apocalypse. Um, what else? Oh, they say like gasoline only has like 
two year shelf life or something. But then like the underground people are driving around in SUVs. So I don't know if they're like mining their own gasoline or or what's going on with that. I guess they could be electric, but like they're not like <laughs> normal electric cars. They're big SUVs. And so like that doesn't really play out um, or at least doesn't make sense. And there's, you know, a few other things like that as well. And so if you do, you know, really think about it, it does start to uh, show some cracks, but it's really about the relationship, right? It's not really about anything else that, that's going on the screen. In addition, you know, other than survival, yeah, that's really just the main thing. So you're really just sticking around for that relationship. Oh, and definitely the poster looks way more exciting. It has like explosions and stuff. I don't even think there is one explosion in this whole movie. So um, definitely if you're going by the poster, maybe um, think again, but you know, listen to what I had to say and, and make your decision after that. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're looking for a more chilled and relaxed apocalyptic experience, then yeah, you can turn this one on and just go with the flow. Other than that, I'm probably not like the main audience for this film, but I think if you know you're a teenager out there with identity issues and, and really coming into your own, then yeah, check this one out. It's, it's probably going to be helpful to you. Just, you, you know, it's teenagers versus the world, just like real life. As for rating, I gotta give it the mildly interesting score of 3.4. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.